In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a tile pan for your rake wall while installing your flat tile roof. Now, depending on how your tile is laying out will determine the exact length of the tile. Now, you always wanna go 14 inches past the top of your chimney or skylight. Now, on the bottom side, you wanna come down and depending on how it's situated, right here, what we're gonna do is make sure we come on top of this tile. The whole idea is any water that comes inside this tile pan, we wanna direct it back on top of this tile right here. So we're pretty much gonna come three inches above. That's right above the exposure line. So this is three inches right here. So that our tile is gonna cover over it. We're not gonna see the bottom of this tile pan. However, we're gonna achieve the water coming back on top of this tile. So I'm gonna hold this in place and we're gonna mark out this line right here. And what we wanna do is cut it a half inch. Lip. Essentially the same lip that we have here. We wanna have it on this side in order to make sure the water gets diverted to where we want it to go. All right, you can see what Marco's done here is leave a half inch to an inch lip right here that we're gonna bend over. And that's gonna tie in perfect with our flashing here on this head wall. Now on this top side, what we also have to do is fabricate this flashing right here. So on this top side here, I'm gonna mark out where our top wall stops. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this at a 45 degree angle, bend it down. And we wanna make sure we do that so that we tie that together with our saddle that we're gonna install on the top side here. So you can see we just made a 45 degree angle right here. We've made a 45 degree cut. And once I put that into place, I'm gonna bend this into the direction that I want it to go. This is gonna be sitting on the top side of that saddle wall and the saddle will come sit on top of here. And I'll show you later how to properly tie that in to make sure we have a nice solid joint. There you go, we have our tile pan cut and ready to install. Now one thing you wanna make sure is you don't have any nails in this channel. So what we do is we fabricate these clips in order to install this tile pan down. This clip right here is a field fabricated clip. You can use really any metal that is similar to your tile pan. So if you're using galvanized tile pan, you wanna use galvanized clips. And what this does is it holds it down tight enough in place so that it doesn't shift. However, it doesn't make any holes in this tile pan right here. Generally, we like to install these clips every 12 to 16 inches on center. It's not super crucial because really that tile is going to hold it down as well as tacking this up here. However, this just helps it to keep it down during installation. Now we're ready to install the tile. Before we do so, one thing that's extremely crucial to remember is you always want to make sure that this lip is bent up. You never want to have this limp flattened out, what that would do is any water that comes in here, it'll risk it going out of this channel. So we just want to make sure that we have this channel clear, open, free of any penetrations with at least a minimum of half inch lips on both sides for the water to go down. All right, now we're ready to install this tile. Again, one thing you always want to be careful of is never bending this lip. And what we want to do is actually notch this tile. So you can see we're placing it down here. Now. This lip, you can see how it's standing up. The tile is not sitting properly due to this lip. So we pretty much wanna just make a mark in here. You can either use a grinder to create a notch here to create a channel, or you can just use your hammer. You can see what we've, done. we've created a little notch here in order for that to sit. Now we might need a little bit more and actually what we'll do is we'll use a grinder to create a groove right here. Now every tile is a little bit different. Some tiles have thicker backing, some tiles are just easier to break, but the concept is the same. Make sure that your tile doesn't bend down your tile pan. 
And again, we're not putting any nails in the tile pan, so make sure you're nailing outside of that. Okay, so you can see we've got this tile cut down to size. You don't need to be perfectly all the way butted up against here. You can leave a quarter to half inch gap. Now again, one thing we want to be sure of, we're not nailing in this hole right here. We don't want to nail through the pile pan ever. What we want to do is just create a hole right here. Let's say you had the tile installed here and you had a small strip you still don't nail this down. What we want to do at that point is cut that narrow strip of tile down and actually glue it, whether caulking or mastic, we just glue it on this lip. It's a lot better for that tile to fall out because really this tile right here is not doing anything as far as waterproofing goes. It's just aesthetics to cover up this tile pan. If we were to leave the roof as is, it would still not leak because all this water would get in here and travel off our roof. So we don't want to make holes here if you do have small strips, use glue and adhesive to fasten it down instead of nails. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and do all that good stuff. We have a bunch of other videos for tile, flat tile roof installation tutorials. If we're missing something, let us know and we'd like to fill it up for you. Thanks for watching.